guys welcome to the channel so here we are the uh, honda crv mark III. um it's got a few little problems and little bits that need tidying up today's one which we're going to be doing is just putting these uh covers over the existing armrests obviously they always go a bit tatty so uh that's going to be today's project tools for the job uh you're going to need a 14 mil wrench and a little fathead screwdriver and then I think we've got a pierce, literally, I'm gonna keep the uh, the nice cut out on the outside. And then you're gonna to have to have a parallel cut going through for the bolt. And then this can go over the existing uh, armrest and then uh, you zip it up and bolt it back in place. So it's pretty easy. Uh, you're gonna need obviously a pair of scissors, um, maybe a sharp knife, um, just to penetrate through the other side on the cover. So, I'll spin round. So obviously from this angle, you can see where you've got the roof, the cap. Um, you might want to use a bit of cloth um, just to protect literally just get in there and prise that off. Just like that. So take the cover off and now you've got access to your 14 mil nut. Too sure if it's gonna spin. Ah, crank that. That's not too bad. Okay. So yeah, this is literally just a five minute job. Pretty easy. Um, just be a case of just getting it nice and neat for when you're undoing, going through with the bolt. So it's going to be quite a big hole needed. Obviously, keep this safe. And there's a little plastic washer in there or spacer. Okay, and now this should literally come off. Voila, just like that. So, what I'm going to do first is slide the cover on and then just check the alignment and make sure it's the right way round. So yeah, it's quite a snug fit, um, got it on, um, and then you can feel there, well, obviously you need to punch it through, so I'm just literally going to go through with a screwdriver to start off with, probably want a pointy one, might be better, or even just the tip of the scissors, don't go too mad in case it tears, but there you go, you're through, do a little X. Okay, so at least we've got the centre point there. Um, I'll take that off and try and do a little bit of a neater job. Um, but yeah, not bad. Obviously a quick fix for doing this. Um, which is just what you want. So yeah, when uh, you're cutting out your hole, obviously you have to allow for these because these are what helps rotate the uh, arm up and down. So you need obviously clearance, um, like the original one. So... I've done a little mistake to start off with. I've done a small hole. I actually need a bigger hole in order to suit like the original. So, right, let's make my hole a bit bigger um, and go from there. So here I'm on the second one. Um, I'm literally going to try and do the cut out without even taking it off. Um, just do a bigger snip. Obviously, get it on nice and snug at the top end so it's not all bunched up. Um, and then... I can get the scissors in there and literally just cut round without taking it on and off. So it should be a little bit neater and a little bit easier. So it takes a few attempts. Um, <clears throat> what I now decided is a little bit better is obviously make an initial hole so it goes over that. Um, and then obviously pull it on and then cut round it and then you'll probably get it a little bit neater. Uh, I suppose or you could just draw it on and then cut round your lines. Um, Whichever you, you feel is easier. Um, if you've got any tips for doing the cutout, obviously let me know, drop me a line. Okay, so that's about as good as it's gonna get for me. Um, so let's bolt this back in place. So yeah, be sure to get this nice and tight at the front um, because obviously that'll affect your alignment if you cut out on the back as well. Um, and I believe the order was this first. Then the white one, and then the bolt. 
So yeah, just get the finger tight to start off with. Obviously I did get black rather than blue, but I don't think it overly matters. I don't know if the blue's a good match or not. Um, I'll put a, a screenshot up of where I got it from. Uh, you can probably guess, the lovely eBay. Um, but yeah, it's literally, I think it's 15 quid for the set as well. So that weren't bad value really. It's probably cheaper than taking it to a specialist and getting it recovered, that's for sure. There you go, finished product on the other side. Seems to have come a little bit neater as well because um, the other one was a bit bunched around the other side there. Uh, as you can see, it's pinched. Maybe because I didn't have it pulled on quite snug enough, but it's always a way in it until the second time it comes out better. So yeah, there you go. Well pleased with that. Nice, easy fix.